Tanya and Morgan. Over the years ahead together, you will face challenges and life will have both highs and lows. That is why the delight, the anticipation of being with each other must always be there, along with the happiness founded on growing and deepening certainty and love. So Morgan first introduced me to his girlfriend Tanya in 2017. Uh, my first impression holds today. Um, I found her to be smart, cultured, generous, strong, and much, much more. Um, we all know Tanya to be traveled and worldly, ambitious, entrepreneurial, a shrewd businesswoman, dedicated to her yoga and being a rescue dog mom. Uh, she's welcoming and, great, and a gracious host in their lovely home, as, we, as many of you know. And, um, a really true friend, always has the best interests of those who are close to her in mind. <laughs> <laughs> like making me move back to Ireland. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to say congratulations to you both. Uh, I wish you a lifetime of love and happiness together. I, and I'd ask everyone to stand and charge your glasses. We're going to toast the bride and the groom. Stand. And I'd like, I'd like to toast them with the WB Yeats quote which is, uh, think where our glory uh, most begins and ends, and say, my glory was, I had such friends. Tanya and Morgan. Thank you. that they will exchange here this afternoon in the presence of those they love and those whose friendship they enjoy and value will demonstrate their love and commitment now and in the future. Many of you here today have a special relationship with Tanya and Morgan and your presence here this afternoon adds significance to this ceremony and support to their marriage. In the years ahead together, as Tanya and Morgan adapt to changing circumstances, it will be to you that they will turn for support, friendship and laughter. In that event, your support is all the more valuable for your having been here today. story and the written word, but you cringe at American sentimentality. 
You're affectionate yet private. You value the truth, but you enjoy embellishing it even more. <laughs> this has made writing my vows to you very difficult. <laughs> so I did what I do best, and I wrote out a list. These are the things about you that make me love you, that I vow to treasure throughout our life together. You light up a room when you're in it. You make people feel included and alive, ready for the laugh that's inevitably coming. So I vow to interrupt you less, to not point out inaccuracies and ruin the punchline, and to tell you funny stories you can freely adapt and retell to our friends and family. I vow to let you be you untethered. Your tenacity to figure things out goes beyond due diligence. This is point number two. Okay. Um, it's an almost childlike wonder you've carried with you into the dregs of adulthood. With you, I can trust the important things are taken care of so we can enjoy the really exciting stuff. Whether it's scrolling done deal for an X-type Jag from the 90s, or navigating the intricacies of flood insurance cover, <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. You get the job done. So I vow to let you do your thing, to not micromanage or micromanage less, to help you build a killer car collection, and to leverage your amazing determination in our life together. Finally, you think of others first, whether it's taking care of Smokey, getting me medicine, or fixing a leaky pipe at your mom's. Your love for your friends and family is one of the first things that made me fall for you. Morgan, you have given me a home again. To keep this in our lives, I vow to always make time for you to cook some badass meals and leave the meat and spuds to you <laughs> and to enforce piggish Thanksgiving traditions forevermore. I vow to treasure Sunday dinners at your mom's, pints with our friends, and to host many dinners and Christmases for years to come. I vow to keep our sense of family. Morgan, I vow to be your partner, fierce and kind and big hearted. I love you and that's the beginning and end of everything. Tanya, you are the love of my life. And I've known you were the person for me, my soulmate, since the first day we met. You have stood gallantly by me through illness and unemployment, damp, dark days and the scorching rays of unbridled happiness. Your unwavering loyalty and belief in us and our future has always been a beacon of light through both our tough and tremendous times together. Amid the chaos of COVID, you agreed to marry me on Sandy Mount Strand. And now we're here in City Hall, joining our lives together, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Thank you for being my one, the future mother of my children and my best friend. I treasure the happy memories and look forward with bated breath to spending our forever together. You are my dream come true. You have made me a better person, and I swear my steadfast commitment to you. For these vows and this ring are a promise that you will never have to face the world alone. So let us go, then you and I, while the evening is spread out against the sky. I love you now and forever, Diane. Do you, Morgan Flanagan Cray, take Tanya Neufeld to be your wife? to share a relationship of love, tenderness and laughter, to confide in and trust above all others, to stand by her and respect her in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and cherish her. I do. Thank you. Do you, Tanya Neufeld, take Morgan Flanagan Cray to be your husband, to share a relationship of love, tenderness and laughter, to confide in and trust above all others, to stand by him and respect him in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and cherish him. I do. Excellent. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make it I'm feeling like we just met. Have you met your hand?
delighted to embrace Tanya with all our hearts and are witness to how happy she and Morgan are together and indeed having survived two years of Covid living and working in the same space they must be meant for each other. <laughs> the long-standing friendships they share as individuals act as a testament to the characters of Morgan and Tanya and provide them both with strong social connections. It's a pleasure to see how many of their friends are here today to share this special occasion. On a final note to Tanya and Morgan, I wish you love, happiness and success in your life together. And as we say in Irish, ni nart go carla meaning there's no strength without unity. Folks, get them some encouragement. 